Centuries ago. Well, obviously, it was a bit more than that. 
Next. 
from the English in the tapestry by the fact that they are clean-shaven. 
anxiously await the outcome of the bargaining. Harold's sword has been returned to him, which suggests that the negotiations are going well. He's being treated with honour. A soldier touches Count Guy's arm to draw his attention to the approach of someone from outside. The Englishman by the pillar peers and listens. And perhaps it is he who escaped from the castle to bring Duke William news of what has happened. We must remember that the tapestry plays tricks with time. All these things, which may have taken days or weeks, are packed into one scene.
symbol of authority, rides with two knights in armour, and other mounted men, but he himself wears only a quilted tunic and no helmet. Harold accompanies the expedition. The army crosses the river Cousinon between Normandy and Brittany, passing Saint Michel, Saint Michael's Mount, which is to be seen in the background. Here, Harold performs a feat of great valour. He rescues two soldiers from the quicksands at the river's edge and carries them safely ashore. That they should have gone campaigning together is clear evidence of the friendship between William and Harold. Here, for the first time in the tapestry, we see a Grand Fanon, the square battle pennant, with three points attached to the lance of one of the knights. These pennants were of Nordic origin, another reminder that the Normans were men.
next on his country a distinguished service may be made a knight of the garter or awarded the order of merit or the congressional medal of honour but in the feudal age it had a double meaning for if it conferred dignity and privilege it also required something in return allegiance we see the significance of this in the scene saying, I shall see you very soon.